Hi there, it's Jody Lawyer, Holistic Occupational Therapist at Helix Healing Lab. And for today's mini lesson, I thought we would focus on breath work and I will give you a few strategies that you can do, a few breathing techniques that you can do to help you connect in and get into your body. And remember that breath work is your number one tool that you can do to help increase your parasympathetic nervous activation and increase your vagal tone. And breath work is <clears throat> this gateway for communing with the divine. Um, and pneuma is an ancient root word, which means breath. And in a religious context, it's spirit or soul. So when we do this intentional breath work, we are actually inviting spirit to come down into the body. And there's this living synergy in the body between breath, emotion, and energy. So when we do unconscious breathing, this can lead to suppression of emotion and energy flow, which can then manifest as physical, mental, and emotional symptoms. And when the breath is regular and free, the body is able to receive the many components of the breath and the energy within the body then is able to free more slowly within. And so um, breath we think of as an autonomic nervous system, but there's an intentionality that you can do with breath work. And so I'm going to teach you some exercises. So inhalation occurs most often in two ways, moving the diaphragm upwards and outwards and then expanding the walls outwards. And so during exhalation, the lungs and the structures around them return to their normal positions. And so there's more blood circulating in the lower portion of the lungs and the upper portion. And then diaphragmatic breathing is the most efficient. So you're going to expand that diaphragm. It's going to come from down here. When you belly, <clears throat> when you shallow breathe in your lungs, that is your fight or flight response. And so shallow breathing um, can often manifest when we're really stressed. And also breath holding can be another um, point that can cause us to just stop the breath, especially when we're really stressed. So you really want to be mindful of these different patterns that you might be holding tension in your body. So when you deeply breathe into the stomach, it regulates the supply of oxygen and vital energy in, in order to activate and cleanse the whole body, which maintains your health. And another advantage to diaphragmatic breathing is that it naturally massages the organs around um, your internal organs, which then promotes the circulation. And so this advantage then is less when we chest breathe. And again, as I mentioned, it's the fight or flight and that shallow breathing. When we do our diaphragmatic breathing, this increases your vagal tone over time, which then increases your parasympathetic sympathetic nervous system, which is then in the forefront. And this is what you want to be. So usually we instruct him breathe into the nose and out through the nose, unless you're having unless you're having a difficulty with breathing because this actually helps to filter and warm and moisten the air when we inhale and it prepares it for the lungs as well. So when you inhale through the, if you inhale through the mouth, this bypasses all of these important structures. Um, again, breathing out like a dog, panting is associated with the fight or flight. So learning how to train yourself to breathe into the nose and out through the nose is the most efficient way to do your breathing. It should be deep and slow and silent and even. And so there's a quality of your breath that happens. And mindful breathing then describes this breathing practice that involves the awareness of the breath and without attempting to change it. And so we are really, when you combine breath work with um, exercise, with yoga, with Tai Chi, with dance, with meditation, and then it becomes just a really powerful combination of helping you to move this energy through your, through your body, which helps you release stagnant energy and helps you connect even further into your intuition and your higher self. And so that's why I love to teach it to clients and help them activate their intuition um, as well. Mindful breathing is this subtle energy with this transformative power. So you really have the power to transform and heal yourself using this intentionality with breath work. Prana is the flow of energy through our body and it's understood to be this infinite encompassing energy. Um, there's 10 functions and it connects to the chakras as I mentioned in the previous lesson. So learning how to do breath work will help you heal your chakras and have them spinning a little bit more 
in a more fluid fashion. Breath then serves as the barometer that registers mental condition and external influences on the body. And so the breath will change with emotions. Tuning into the pattern can indicate what, what our physical and our mental state is. So think about when there's something really alarming that happens, you tend to breathe faster because your, your body's getting prepared to take action and um, to run away from whatever that issue is. So you can tell a lot by your state of being by how you are breathing. All right, so my favorite, of course, is diaphragmatic breathing, breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. And I enjoy teaching the two to one ratio, which is breathing in for um, one count ratio and then breathing out for the two count. So it might be one to two, it could be um, two to four, I like three to six. So we're, I'm going to show you my breathing ball and it gives it just a kinesthetic cue so you want to breathe in and breathe out breathe in. so that was a two to four ratio but you can play around with this you want to figure out what your baseline is um, and you can work up to doing three seconds in, six seconds out, and this eventually lowers your heart rate over time as well and becomes more efficient. When you exercise as well, your heart rate becomes more efficient too. So learning to combine breath work with exercise is another way um, to help you retrain yourself. There's a fun one called the sniffing or the rabbit breath, and this is where you take three or four quick sniffs in and then a long exhale, so it looks like this. The magic breath is where you're just rising up tall, oh, hands over your head, sweeping up. Remember when you were in kindergarten and elementary school and you would do this in gym class? That's what it reminds me of. So you wanna breathe in and aim for five to 10 breaths, just doing that nice and slow, and then out. The humming breath, actually, you actually are humming, so you're going to feel this in your throat area, and this helps to open up your communication center, your chakras at the throat. So you breathe in, and then you hum at the same time. So you may want to be... Um, wary of if you have others in your surroundings like at work so this might be a good one to try out alone or in the car so it goes you can close your eyes you can cover your ears um, to see what that sounds like and that will also help with concentration and so you can you feel that deeper sound with the cooling breath is where you breathe in and then you roll your tongue and poke it out just beyond the bottom lip. So you in through, inhale through the groove in your tongue. And then you close your mouth, hold your breath in, and exhale through the nose. So So that's another one you can do. And if you are not able to make that groove with your tongue, then you can put the tip of the tongue on the roof of your mouth, just behind the front teeth. And so that's an alternate way that you can do that kind of a breath. The alternate nostril breathing is a very um, specialized tool that you can use for concentration and calming the nervous system. So you want to sit tall and you're going to press the right nostril shut and inhale. Then you press the left nostril and exhale. Keep the left nostril shut and inhale. And then press the right nostril to exhale. And you want to repeat this pattern five minutes at a um, pace of one to two second exhalations, inhalations, and one to two second exhalations. And you're going to be using abdominal breathing with this as well. So it takes a little while to get into the cycle of that, but that's another one that really helps calm the nervous system. The breath of fire is a one where you want to remove heat from the body. So you're going to sit on your knees or sit tall and you're going to breathe rapidly in and out the nose using the diaphragm. And so it kind of is like a panting. So it's 
If you need to exhale using your mouth though, because it feels uncomfortable, you can do that as well. So that's um, a rapid one, um, which helps to release heat in the body. The Darth Vader breath or the ocean breath is inhaling and making a hissing sound with the exhale and you can feel it at the back of your throat. So it's You can feel it all here in your throat. Um, or you're trying to fog up a mirror. That's another way to use that kind of a breath. But my favorite breath that you can use is just doing the two to one, close your eyes, shut out the world, do five to 10 breath cycles or a couple minutes getting back into the body and that will always help to bring you back into baseline. So that is it on our mini lesson on breathing techniques. Um, I hope this was helpful. If you wanna reach out or you have further questions, please reach out to Jody at helixhealingpath.com. Have a great day and practice those breathing techniques to see which one you like the best.